racers eat, breathe, and sleep barrel racing? I think the best barrel racers are very type A and extremely focused to a fault. Great barrel horses are very hard to come by, and you know, you're gonna get various opinions as to if it's the horse or the rider, but it's a team effort. Them barrel racing horses will be coming in at close to 25 miles an hour. When conditions are perfect, we want to be about three to four feet from the barrel so the horse can have the most accurate, clean, tight turn it can possibly have. Timing is everything. It is such impeccable timing as to when to cue our horses. As they make that turn, they'll switch hands with their reins, cue that horse with their feet so they're in the right leap. So if you want to make a right hand turn, you want to have that horse reaching out with his right foot first. In barrel racing circles, that's called the lead. The other judges are watching to make sure that the girls stay on the approved pattern. So they're allowed to make only three turns throughout the race, either two left and one right. There are two right and one left. If you tip a barrel, it's a five second penalty for each barrel. So the possibility of 15 seconds worth of penalties. It all comes down to the best time, but the best time has so many layers. How fast did you go? How quickly did your horse accelerate? How great were your turns? It's an amazing bond with our horses. They're truly, truly our partners. So it's a great combination between a horse with a lot of heart and a barrel racer with a lot of savvy and working together to win a lot of money in Calgary. Wow. Nice run. We herald the official news media of the Calgary Stampede. You've been cheering for the boys all day long. How many are going to cheer for the girls of rodeo? Ladies, come on. Ah, right, she said, come on. Let's start it off with a beautiful lady. From from Texas, it's his Tiani Schuster. Now she's only won $1,500. Come on, Blondie, you got to make a run. One to the left, it'll be two to the right. I want all the ladies to help her right now, right now. Awesome job, 17 and 42. Now we back up that electronic eye out there, Robert Job, Petty Allgate. Our official timers will back up every run in every timed event, including the ladies. Let's go to the lady that won the Canadian Finals Rodeo. She was the aggregate champion this past November, Jamie Hinton. Rodeos all over the Northland in the summertime. There are no borders in the world of rodeo. You follow the good weather, you follow the good rodeos. And that's exactly what she's been doing. Come on, Jamie. 1720 something will win you the number one check of the day. $5,500. Nice turn on two. All right, get ready on the count of three. One, two, three. I always do what I want. Girl. 1772. And the track looks good today. One of the reasons it looks good is because of our volunteers with rakes in hand. Well, when you're in the top three on the run of the ground each day, it is a little advantage. But when the third lady out is the world champion, Nellie Miller. From Cottonwood, California, the horse of the year. Get back, Loretta, come on, sis. Let's go, Calgary, run, Nelly, Nelly, Nelly. Look at this. Hey, 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 Wayne, the blue road mayor got it today, 1723. Ooh, that could hold for first, you never know. But I'm not gonna take anything away from the rest of the field. The next lady wins the award for being the farthest living, the farthest away from Calgary. Erica Nelson, Century, Florida. Long ways from home. She needs some money today. And a girl. Good, change leads right there. Now, one more left hand turn. You know what to do, don't wait on me. Nice run, 
six. Now, Mark Lee and Butch Knowles are the commentators on CBC Live. Butch Knowles from Hebner, Oregon, happens to be the uncle of the next lady to run. That is the beautiful Callahan Crosley. She is a national intercollegiate champion twice, an all-around champion in college, and the champion at Cloverdale, British Columbia, a month ago. Look at here. Pick it up, that old yellow rock. Oh, no. My mama taught me wrong from No, no. That is not what you're supposed to do. I know, and it's not my fault. Wow. 27, 26, I do believe you get your GPS out and reprogram it. Well, the run was good, though. 17, 26, it's just the darned old penalties. You knock one down, it's five, two down, it's ten seconds. You knock all three down, free case of warm beer. Thank you. Jessica Rotier, Buffalo, South Dakota. Already won $3,500. Badland Circuit Champion of North and South Dakota. Ladies, you don't have to wait till that third barrel to start cheering. No way. Yeah. No way. Come on, turn and burn, Jesse. Turn and burn. and 20, a new leader. All right, if you think we can do it, I'm gonna take a lady on a gray horse and Don't try to beat you again. Be sad. There's a little bitty town in the panhandle of Texas in cowboy country called Pampa. This is a cowgirl. Now let me tell you what she can do it all. Charlie Richardson. I get around, yeah, get around. That old gray kid to play set. Now you got it on to let you lay call. Ladies, help my lady. Boy, she ain't afraid to get that quirt out. 1749. That's now gonna put her in the number four spot. Routier, Miller, Schuster. And Richardson. Give me the leaderboard if you can real quick, boys. There it is, 1720. I'm gonna bet you 10 bucks. The next lady, Haley Kinsel, the number one ranked lady in the world today, is 1725 or faster. This is an amazing horse. When he gets to that third barrel, I swear he sprouts wings and can fly. Let's go, Haley. She's broken records all year long. Why not break the record in Calgary as well? She's going to need a little help right now, though. Come on, Haley. That is 12 one hundredths of a second off of the arena record. I wish I had 30 minutes to tell you the life story of the next lady. This is a Cinderella. Carmen Pazabon from Savona, Aldergrove, British Columbia. Ladies and gentlemen, she's done everything her way. Bought, trained, bred every horse that she's ever owned. Come on, Carmen. Did I say she was from British Columbia? That's Canada. Go. Yes. Look at here. Look at here. Oh, by one one hundredth of a second, she moves into three. Sets the world champion Nellie Miller in the number four. And there was one to go. And it's the number four ranked lady in the world standings. Amber Lee Moore. You watched her in Fort Worth, Texas, San Angelo, Texas. Smoke them earlier this year. Springtime came around, the sunshine came out. We go to Calgary, Alberta. 
Come on, Amberly. Please don't stop the music. This lady has rode a different horse every day, Wayne. She's been having a little bit of trouble getting the right horse at the right time. That doesn't mean we shouldn't cheer her to the line as well, though. Yeah. We can, you bet. Kick a little, kick a lot, Blue Eyes. 1873, her horses. She's just happy to be here. We're happy to have her. Let me tell you, as we get set to this victory lap, ladies and gentlemen, nobody in rodeo works harder than the women. They do 